Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. Developing tonight, a 17-year-old girl dies while practicing for her dance team. So this is what we know. Family and friends describe Elsie Purefoy as a go-getter who was excited to make the dance team at Arabia Mountain High School, but she never, she'll never get to do the one thing she practiced so hard for. 11 Alive's Hope Ford is live at the school tonight. I hope you talk to her dad and friends out there. Tell us what are they saying happened? So she passed out at some point in time during practice or while she was running. We're still trying to figure out what the exact time of day that happened uh, here today. So her family is being told by doctors that it was possible severe dehydration or possible heart problem that she didn't know that they didn't know about in the past. So today a lot of her family and friends came together at her dad's house. And as you can imagine, a lot of tears as people are still trying to process what happened. She outworked everybody. Uh, she was a beautiful spirit. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to miss her. Hank Purefoy could only get a few words out before becoming overcome with emotion. His 17 year old daughter will be buried after collapsing at a dance practice during the summer. Dance was a major part of Elisa's life, and she just made it onto the dance team after failing to make it last year. For the rest of the year, she went to these dance classes on the weekends to practice, and then she tried out again. and. She made it. That determination surprised no one. That's just who she was. She, she scares you about how much she can do, and it just teaches you about how much you can do. Malik, her older brother, was the last family member to see her alive. He dropped her off at practice in the morning and didn't get to see her again. Her younger sister, Elena, spent the night before practicing dance moves together and says she's not sure what she'll do without her best friend. Last night, I was hoping for her. I was helping her practice her stands for a dance, and now she's gone, and I looked up to her. And Elsie's family tells me that her mother is inconsolable. She is having the hardest time uh, even talking about what happened today. So a GoFundMe account has been set up for her burial as the family awaits for that official cause of death. Aisha. All right, thank you so much, Hope. Thinking of that family in that community tonight.